welcome to Drunk Monkeys. I'm Erica. And I'm Jen. And we're super excited to be here. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Great. Good. So <laughs> we're in good health and yeah. ready, ready to feeling keep going. fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start with um, a classic tried and true, our old friend, Pinnacle. Oh. This is the third Pinnacle that we've tried um, over the seasons. What did we, we tried cookie dough. Uh, yep. And what was the other one? Cake. Uh, cake. Cake. And you'd think that those would be pretty much the same thing, but they weren't. No. But cookie dough was chocolate chip cookie dough, and actually, I think, if I recall, tasted like lip gloss. Mm-hmm. And the cake one was just mostly just vanilla. Yeah, like artificial vanilla. Right. Yeah. So, sweet. but less, less uh, upsetting. Right. It was much better than the cookie dough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do we have? Uh, here we have uh, a, a very unique flavor. Um, it is gummy fish. Now, this logo looks like some sort of gummy fish that's on the market that's really delicious. Right. Like like Swedish fish. Right. But it's not Swedish fish. I was worried about if we should say Swedish fish. I suppose we can. I said it. We don't have to. We're, we're not going to get sued. Um, but this is a gummy fish that's remarkably similar to a Swedish fish. It's not mm-hmm. a Swedish fish. So I really like the flavor of Swedish fish. Do you like the Swedish fish? Um, it's not a, I wouldn't call it a crave food, but it's something that if it is in front of me, I will eat an entire bag of. Oh yeah. It's like, you can't <laughs> stop once you get into it. There's something in it. It like makes the sides and back of your tongue tingle a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then you just want to eat them all the time. Right. So uh, I would would say that this sounds like um, a delicious uh, thing, but possibly, in my opinion, a terrible flavor for a vodka. Right. Because what what would you ever you? I like the the gumminess of it is like part of the experience to just drink that flavor. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You just drink some Kool Aid or right. something. Right. 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 I think that if you're looking for that flavor, you're probably also looking for that texture. Yeah. And I think that the Swedish fish flavor is really unique to um, uh, to the gummy candy, not just like a regular like cherry or red flavored thing. Right. So I wonder if the developers of this vodka tried to match it to that specific flavor, or if it's just going to be like a cherry ish ish thing. So Pinnacle, I will say this real quick, has thirty flavors. There's thirty flavors of Pinnacle vodka. Really? Yeah. So you can, um, whatever they, your heart desires. Do they also make glazed donut? Oh, God. That's something we need to look into, I think. Yeah. Um, so. All right. We... So what do we know about Pinnacle is that it's from France. Um, okay. Oh, wow, wow. So, uh, this had, it came with a, um, oh, look how the rubber band <gasps> is like attached to the thing. There's a rubber band, but it's melted onto the label. Oh, oh wow. Pinnacle. Uh, and the front, it says, put some candy in your cocktail. And it's a picture of like a fish bowl with a bunch of gummy red fishes in them. So here are some examples. Okay. Pinnacle gummy combines important. And this is great because most pinnacle bottles, they have nothing on the back. So you know nothing about it. So having this pamphlet, pamphlet is really great. Pinnacle gummy <laughs> combines imported French vodka with the sweet cherry taste of gummy fish candies. This one of a kind flavor will delight your taste buds any way you mix it. So Yeah. And there's a couple little thingies in there for possibilities of... Yeah. You can do a, a, a pucker sucker, which is two parts pinnacle gummy, two parts sour mix, and one part triple sec. Ooh. Serve it in a chill martini glass and garnish with a cherry. That is something. And then there's gummy soda, which is one part pinnacle gummy and two parts lemon lime soda. Wow. Serve over ice and garnish with an orange wedge. Hey, I think we just found our new signature <laughs> cocktail. All right, that's my summer drink. <laughs> Summer's over. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that we'd opened this previously because the bottle did not crack. We opened it previously. Okay. We did. Okay. Um, I'm sure we did. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's, that's I know. A pretty it's hefty. Pour. I know. I know. And we're just starting. So. Oh, do you smell it? Hmm. I do, and it... Oh, whoa. It is like a fresh opened bag. <laughs> Does it smell distinctly? Gummy candies uh, of the Swedish fish. Absolutely. All right, let's see. 
Yeah, right? Whoa. Whoa. You smell that? <laughs> it actually does smell like Swedish fish. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Oh, yeah. yeah, I could see there's competition with that. It does actually smell like Twizzlers. Um, it's I'm very thinking. strong. Mm -hmm. It is. It kind of smells like cough syrup a little bit, too. Yeah. No. Cherry NyQuil. All right, are you ready? Cheers. All right, it's real strong. Yeah. Like, it's that thing about good vodka, bad vodka, and when there's bad vodka, you're, like, aware that it's vodka. Good vodka, you're like, hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, instantly you're aware that it's vodka because it's real. <sighs> um, the flavor, I actually don't it's, mind it. I mean, I don't mind the flavor. Um, There's something wrong about it, though. I do feel like I'm I'm going to, like, get a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and also have all of my nasal decongestion taken care of. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Or my nasal congestion because it's like it has that. It, there is a cold medicine-y type flavor to it. Yeah, and the it opens up everything. Uh, it's weird. It doesn't really taste good, but it doesn't taste bad. Do you know like, what I mean? It's like Swedish fish. If somebody has this open, you're gonna drink the whole bottle. Yeah. If somebody has an open bag of Swedish fish, you're gonna eat that whole. Thing. And if you didn't have the Swedish fish around you, you would never think to eat them. Right. You know, you're never like, you know what I'm really, like you're saying, you don't crave them. Yeah. It's only when you're around a Swedish fish that you can't turn them away. So yeah, that's what this is. I don't think that I would ever choose to drink this, but if it was in front of me, I mean, I'm going to take another sip of it. And it does have that signature. I feel like Swedish fish kind of flavor mm -hmm. more so than just like, it's like a cherry, but then something else. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Else? What is it? I don't know. It, if anybody has a, a a thought about what that other flavor may be, <laughs> you're more than welcome to um, let us know. contact us. What you think that other flavor might be? But. Oh boy. Um. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I mean, it actually might be good in a cocktail. I would see like you know, like some sort of cherry bomb mm -hmm. cocktail or uh, bomb pop cocktail or something. Um, it's probably pretty good. Children's Tylenol. Have you ever had? I'm probably not just bring that up like it's like a shot people no. get. Well, but I liked it. It was yeah, right. It's like you can put it in your bomb pop cocktails, your cherry bomb, <laughs> your children's Tylenol. It's cocktails. good for quieting down the little ones. No, it's very good for. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. Uh, it's good. Like there's a there is something called child's children's Tylenol. Like it's a shot that tastes like oh yeah children's Tylenol. Oh, that's an actual shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's kind of. I wasn't just being up. creepy. That's an actual oh. shot. I'm, that's disturbing. Because who would want to drink something that's children's Tylenol? Now this is taking a real dark turn. We've only just begun. Uh, Pinnacle gummy red fish. Uh, not necessary, but not terrible. <laughs>